Here we have the Christie Micro Tile Video Wall System. This is a rear project system using DLP technology with LED light source. They boast exceptional resolution, brightness and depth of colour. The modules can be scaled to any size, shape and orientation, forming a digital canvas with minimal 1mm seams. Prices depend on configuration. Expect to pay around 5000 per tile plus extra for the control unit. How do we see these being used, guys? Well, I got to talk to the guys from Christie, but you know, I was sort of thinking I'd take it home and put it in my living room. Um, aside from that, yeah, I, I think it's a great machine. Um, for from my background, it's a great uh, innovation for theatre. Um, it's a scene, it's a backdrop, it's very handy. Uh, it looks pretty light, pretty simple. It's it's actually pretty light and pretty simple to put together. You can carry one of the tiles around on each hand um, uh, and it, they're not heavy and it goes together really easily. Uh, there's a little bit, of, little bit of fiddling involved to just get the alignment right on the seams but you do that so that it looks good. Yep. Um, seminar work, I think it's a good background. Um, Trade shows, um, architectural motor shows. Yeah, I think it's a I think it's a good good install product. Uh, I mean, you can use it in any environment, but I think where there's a lot of things about that's going to benefit the um, the architectural background. Um, you know, things like serviceability, you can you can service the whole you can service the whole tile unit just by pulling the screen face off and um, everything bar the fans you can get to and replace from. The front side of the wall. But you wouldn't need to. I mean, it's an LED light source, so it's going to go for years. It's like it's, <laughs> it's only seven years of being on full time. Oh, gee. So, you yeah. know. What about TV? Yeah. I'd really like to see it being used for uh, creating electronic scenery backgrounds for live concerts and conferences where you have the problem of a sustained mid shot of a presenter or lead singer and you need to fill up the background with something interesting and good looking and this provides a chance for high quality, high intensity uh, design backgrounds. That's and, and keeping keeping the image when you zoom in. Mm. And, and of course you can control the brightness of the screen and the colour balance of the screen, the colour temperature to match that of the lighting to suit your cameras. So how, how bright are we running right now? Okay, right now um, we're running at about 15%. So it's very bright. So in a big auditorium situation. Yep. You're going to get clarity at the back of the room. Yep. What's it like when you get close? Do you get that pixelated face? No. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's it, the the native resolution on, on each tile is actually quite high. Um, and well, it's projection, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's projection. Projection in each. Yeah. Yeah, and the beautiful thing about this is, that if you want more pixels, you just add more cubes. You can have all the pixels that your eyes can eat. Uh, provided your budget allows for it. Hmm. And uh, how, how about configuring? We're, we're running this in, a, in a, a bit of a weird format. Yeah, this is this is called the skyscraper configuration. Um, and when you put this together, the first time you switch it on, um, the cubes or the tiles are, are self-discovering. There's little infrared sensors in the sides and the top and bottom. Um, and they do this whole get to know your neighbours thing and, and figure out where they are in the scheme of things on the wall and each tile will actually know what its place is within the array. So you can build it into any shape you want. It's going to auto self-discover. The only time that doesn't work is if you've got sort of strange gaps because obviously the infrared needs to be mm. butted up next to its neighbour to work. But then you go into the, <coughs> the web-based software um, and just configure it and tell it where the tile is in the array. You can ID each tile individually. Can you build an arch? You can build anything you want. Yeah, that's clever. That's I mean, a for sphere a, might be challenging. Yeah, challenging. But, but for a designer, it's a new opportunity. Yeah, oh, totally. Um, I remember seeing a show recently where there were multiple televisions in the set, mm. and it was really cumbersome for the guys putting it in. But this is light. You know, yeah. it, it fits into a, a good frame. You can make it variable size. Mm -hmm. um, and I imagine that later on you could link it all so it becomes one big image. Um, if you've seen Hairspray, that's all screens big screens and really works well, it's a bit pixelated, but this would uh, overcome it. Mm. Look, the, to my mind, on my way of thinking, and, and as the guy who had to render out the Gearbox video that you're seeing on it now, the, the biggest challenge with this is not the installation, it's not the power consumption, this is all running off like less than 10 amps, it's not the power consumption, it's not the serviceability, it's 
getting content that's good enough to look good on the screen. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of colour there too. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the actual technology gives you pretty much the best depth of colour of, of any sort of display devices out there. If it's been running all day in a seminar, it's had the boring speaker and it's been on with the, the logo at the background and it's been going from 8 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon, when does it get hot? Um, since I've switched this on, it, it, it kicks up its cooling fans when you first turn it on, just uh, they're all happy and then it calms down and, and it hasn't actually felt the need to speed them up all day since we've mm -hmm. been here. Um, if it gets really, really hot and bothered and upset, like if there's you know, sort of a really hot ambient environment or something, um, there's actually a little actuator. Each tile is magnetically, each tile has a magnetic screen which attaches to it and the little actuator will actually push out the bottom edge of each tile just to let it suck a bit more air through. And then when it cools back down, they just pop back in. From the front, you're not going to see it. No. Yeah. Um, and maintenance, easy. Yeah. yeah. I it's like all from it. the front. I like it. I want one for home. That's just about the right size. I think I could make that work. I think I want a few more. Oh. But I'm just greedy. <laughs> all right. So overall? Yeah. Love it. Winner. Tick. Cool.